like to introduce <clears throat> Mark Barlow. <laughs> Chairperson of the Council of Canadians and Water Warrior. We have on the Council of Canadians members across this country, we stand in total solidarity with the struggle of First Nations and communities in British Columbia not to allow any pipeline to be built. Or, or expanded that's going to bring tar sands oil to the coast for export. It will not happen. <laughs> Pipelines are the arteries. Pipelines are the bloodline of the tar sands. If we allow these pipelines to go ahead, it's going to mean that the industry is setting energy policy in Canada. Because these pipelines mean that you'll need to keep them full, and that means a massive expansion of the tar sands, and that means that we will never be able to get the alternative energy future we need. So going after these pipelines is the most important fight we could have right now. legislation that could protect our coastline, protect our waterways, protect our forests, protect our air. You know who he's doing it for? He's doing it for the energy industry. And most of them, two-thirds of them, the tar sands aren't even Canadian. He is selling out our heritage and our environment for money. Now here's what we have to do. We have to build solidarity between pipeline struggles. We can't say one is okay and another isn't. We have to say no to Kinder Morgan, we have to say no to Enbridge, we have to say no to the fracking pipelines and the LNGs. It's now being called the Harvard Corridor. We have to understand what this means and how it's going to destroy British Columbia. It is absolutely essential we put these together. And as we stand here today, we have to stand in solidarity with struggles in other parts of this country and in other parts of the continent. Special shout out to the people who are sitting in trees, rent risking arrest, putting their lives in life in Texas. And they know this is happening today and they're very excited and they send their love and solidarity from sitting in the trees high above those bulldozers and they will not come down. <laughs> Special shout out to the Athabasca Chippewan, who are the first First Nation who is going to la launch this con constitutional challenge tomorrow against Jack Pine. I'm going up to Fort McMurray tonight to be with them tomorrow to show this solidarity from people all around the country. The Shell, the Shell Project, like all expansion of the tar sands, threatens the lives, livelihood, rights, and environment of First Nations people. And we will not only stand in solidarity, solidarity but take leadership from First Nations. And we will say to those pipelines, on behalf of the Chippewan, Athabasca Chippewan First Nation, and the 132 First Nations in this province, you will not pass.